This is the vertical scan demonstration of the approach to Kingston Harbor. And as I've mentioned before, we've chosen Kingston because it's such a excellent example of how the unit performs both vertically and horizontally in what are kind of, uh, you know, idealized circumstances. And what I mean by that is that uh, on the day we did this, the tide was slack. There were no real uh, substantial temperature inversions or anything in the water. And there was not a lot of stuff floating in the water. The difference between high gain view and the low gain view that you've seen previously is you'll see everything this time, which is the way the unit basically looks on auto uh, setting, auto gain setting. So anyway, as we're approaching uh, the entrance to Kingston Harbor here, we're approaching a mudflat area. And you're starting to see some shock waves. Uh, we've mentioned the shock wave phenomenon before when you have a, something coming close that you may want to know about. There's some fish at about uh, 75 feet, by the way. Uh, generally, that indicates there's something up there that you might want to pay attention to when you see those blue-green kind of shock wave uh, phenomenon things. So we're uh, just uh, motoring up here toward the entrance. And if you look at the top side view, now I'm kind of shifting my uh, scope a couple times, uh, just changing the setting for uh, you know gain which is something as you get more into this, you'll find that at times you do want to shift off of auto onto, um, onto manual. Clear up the screen a little bit when there's a lot of stuff in the water. Now, um, what you're seeing there, yeah, okay, now you're starting to see the mud flats. They are definitely within range of the unit at a 300 foot setting. And they're starting to look troublesome Pretty soon here, we're going to be turning to head into the main channel of the marina. But if you look at the top side view, you'll see we're rapidly reeling, running out of real estate. And that's what you're seeing on the screen right now. You're seeing the uh, rapid shallowing in the mud flats. And now we're turning. That kind of rainbow effect you're seeing on the screen is uh, very characteristic of turning, by the way, the way it looks on the unit. Okay, so now we've turned away from the mud flats and we're heading into the main channel of the marina. And pretty clear. Ah, but what's this off to the right? Well, what those are are the beginning echoes of docks and boat hulls. As you can see, they're quite distinct. Not quite as distinct as they were on low gain. So there's, you know, you're seeing more stuff now, but uh, still very clearly. Uh, boats. As uh, I've mentioned before, that type of vertical line is very much what a container would look like, by the way. In the middle of your cruise path on vertical scan. Now I've done a little dissolve there just to compress the time. But now you see uh, individual boat hulls and keels. That uh, red thing there is because it's punching through to actually see the uh, breakwater, the backside of the breakwater, which you can see in the top side view. And you're seeing even more the back side of the breakwater and, of course, the boat hulls. Now, pretty soon, we're going to be turning again, turning left, and uh, heading down the main channel north, basically, if you look at the uh, view on the top side. So now as we're turning, we don't see the back side of the breakwater. We're seeing just boat hulls. That, by the way, there is the fuel dock. And now we're heading down the main channel. And pretty soon it's going to see trouble. Just outside of range, but very close now. There you go. That is that big wall you see in the top side view we're heading straight at. So on auto game. The unit is really quite good at uh, setting the approximate, you know, setting that you would want to have for the range and the gain that you, you know, in a particular circumstance. But as you get better with the unit, I think you'll find that in situations like this, you may want to put it on manual and just kind of tailor it so you eliminate things that you don't really want to see. And uh, so this is a high gain setting, but a little bit lower than probably what the auto would set. We're getting closer and closer. 
and pretty soon here we're going to turn. And we'll see what that looks like on vertical scan with the high gain, or higher gain. I, I really shouldn't call this high gain. It's just a higher gain than the other vertical scan demonstration. Now, of course, we're turning. You see that uh, kind of rainbow effect, characteristic of that. And we're still turning. And we're heading up the channel 180 degrees. So this is Kingston on vertical scan, uh, the higher setting.